Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Lauren Hayes, live from the Kalkine Studios in Sydney. Now the Australian share market is expected to open higher today. The SPY futures are pointing to around a 1% gain. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 0.6% lower at 7,347 points. Jeweller Michael Hill says tough retail conditions throughout 2023 has led to a challenging first half. The company provided a trading update for the period ending December 23 and said that the macroeconomic environment impacted consumer sentiment and resulted in difficult trading conditions, while both inflated input costs and aggressive competitive behaviour also placed margin under significant pressure. Michael Hill is anticipating first half profit to be in the range of between 30 to $33 million. The company says it has taken direct actions to reduce operating costs, including the exit of a number of senior management roles. Whitehaven Coal has provided its quarterly production report for December 2023 and says that in Q2, the company managed run of mine production of 5 million tonnes, which was down 6% on the September quarter. The company said it achieved an average coal price of 216 Australian dollars per tonne and total equity sales of produced coal was 3.7 million tonnes, which was up 21% on the September quarter. Whitehaven has called out Malls Creek and the Gundagar open cut mines for delivering strong operational performances, while run of mine production at Nurabri was impacted by geological challenges in the current long wall and equipment reliability. Whitehaven says overall run of mine production and sales guidance for FY24 remains unchanged, but the production and sales mix is expected to reflect the stronger performance at the open cut mines and lower volumes from Narabri. Voltaic Strategic Resources has received assays from the recently completed and ongoing soil survey at Tea Tree in Western Australia and has confirmed multiple lithium and pathfinder anomalies within the Akira Prospect area where previous exploration drilling identified a large halo of anomalous lithium from surface. Planning is underway for the next phase of drilling at these prospects and targets are being finalised with the company now focused on an infill soil survey at Takira over the newly identified trends and to complete a wide spaced soil survey at Tea Tree East. Well, take a short break here. Stay tuned for more news after the break. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Lauren Hayes. The Dow Jones gained a half a percent, the S&P 500 added 0.9% and the Nasdaq Composite rallied 1.4%. European markets closed higher, London's FTSE added 0.2%, Frankfurt gained 0.8% and Paris closed 1.1% higher. Turning to Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.03%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng added 0.8% and China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.4% higher. That's the latest from ASX at Breakfast. I'm Lauren Hayes.